The next pose is called Pavan Muktasana, and it means wind relieving pose. It can also help with wind relieving, but it's a really, really good pose for the back, and we're gonna do it lying on the floor. A hard surface is better than your bed, unless you have a very firm bed. This can be done in your bed, but if, it's better if you don't have a mushy bed. So I lie down on my back. I keep the legs bent so the lower back stays close to the floor. I'm not pushing my lower back into the floor. I'm maintaining the natural curve here. And then interlocking my fingers on the shin, I take the knee in towards the chest so I get a really nice stretch in the back. If the back is in extreme duress, there's a lot of pain, this bottom leg can stay bent. Otherwise, the leg can extend. And if you look at my foot, I'm pushing the heel away from my buttock so that the leg is extended and the thigh is descending. Meanwhile, this knee does two things. I'm actually holding the middle of the shin and I'm pulling the shin bone towards the floor, but also I'm gliding it towards my head. This foot is relaxed, but the foot lines up with my buttock. So it's not crossing the midline, it lines up with my buttock. The other foot is not relaxed. The other foot is extending to lengthen the lower part of my back and I just stay here, stretching my back with the shoulders relaxed. And to switch, I can bend both legs, feel the difference, and then I do the other leg. So this knee, I'm holding the middle of the shin, I pull down towards the floor and glide up towards my head, and the bottom leg extends. So I'm pressing the heel away from the buttock, as I pull my shin bone towards me. The shoulders are relaxed and I'm keeping the base of my skull moving away from my back. As opposed to moving towards my back, I move it away from the back. And the shoulders are relaxed and the foot is relaxed. And as I relax here, my back actually also starts to relax. And then again to come out, I bend the legs. And then I take both knees into the chest. So I take both knees into the chest. And this actually feels really nice. It's a good thing to experiment. So I'm crossing one ankle in front of the other. I hold my legs. I'm pressing down the shin bones towards the floor and towards my head. So it's down and towards my head. So now the lower part of the back is getting closer to the floor. And it actually feels quite nice. I do this without creating tension anywhere else. This is really about relieving and spreading and stretching the back muscles so that they don't aggravate us. And then I change the crosses of the ankles. The feet again are relaxed. Shins go down and towards the head. It's really important for me to pay attention because if I, don't, if I space out and I don't pay attention, the shoulders can start creeping up and then I get rid of my lower back pain, but then I create neck pain. So the shoulders are in a state of relaxation. The base of my skull is away from my back, and I'm just letting my back relax here. And if this is also a good thing, not only for the back, but it'll help if you need to go to the bathroom. And then both feet come to the floor when I come out. And I just stay here in a moment with the legs bent, relaxing the back and the shoulders. And this can be very relieving for when there's back pain. Namaste.